Hey, now that I think about it, and I really stop and think about it, I am so glad that some people are um, out of my life. And initially, it might have been me feeling sorrowful and woeful about it. But when I really stop and do the math and process the information, um, it's better for me. And it's not about another woman. Hey, I'm going to go and be with a woman. Because a woman is largely a part of the problem. And they'll say the same thing about me. And so it's mutual. We're not disputing the fact that this gender thing is our problem. We're having issues with each other. We always have and we always will. Social media is just giving it a, a opportunity to do it on a high level, a higher disrespectful level because of um, the ability to spread your virus a lot further and a lot faster. So that's all it is. It's just having the ability to lie, be deceptive, and tell your sorry ass story to people that don't really care. So I don't know what it means to try and say, I'm going to, um, I want somebody to hear me. I want to be respected. Hello? I want to be appreciated. I want somebody to love me. Do you know how stupid that sounds? Do you have any idea how dumb that sounds? Y'all too old. Are uh, we too old to be crying and begging? Too old for that. Stop it. So, um, I'm so glad that some people are out of my life because I got a little circle of Hotel Granite and the great Maurice and uh, me and myself and I and that's with the spirituality that leaks in, um, I'm happy. So a lot of this stuff is on me. God gave me and you all of the gifts you need to be successful. Now, the problem is your sorry ass don't know what to do with it. So therefore, it leaves you in a junk pile and not Sanford and Son, but in a junk pile in life, unhappy, unpleasable, all of this other stuff because you cannot figure it out. So one thing, I think it was Lazy Bone or either Crazy Bone, one of the Bone Thugs and Harmony guys said in one of the raps is just something is driving people crazy because they can't get the hang of it. And he just said, yeah, he yelled. But um, I think that was Crazy Bone, who I think is probably single-handedly one of the best rappers that has ever gotten a record deal on wax and made it in the music world. Um, yeah, so to me, this stuff is simple. Stop uh, bitching and complaining to people. Nobody wants to hear it. So my message at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day is shut up. Simply, if you imagine shutting up for a minute, maybe you can hear something somebody else is saying. Some people talk so much that they talk themselves out of a good thing or a supportive situation. You probably could run a business and people will probably support your business if you didn't talk so much. If you didn't create such a, a toxic environment, maybe somebody might want to be supportive of what you're doing. But I'm the type of person, I'll probably support you anyway, but still just say fuck you. Yeah, I don't think you're a piece of shit. I think you're a piece of shit anyway, but that don't mean that I have a right to be rude or disrespectful to you. So you don't need me to tell it to you in print or in these videos. You should already know that. It's really simple to me. This shit is not complicated. And this life is way more difficult because of people. Giving the devil way too much credit when it's your funky ass, it's my funky ass, whether it's fornication, 
concept of fornication, whether it's thieving, stealing, whether it's uh, incarceration, um, believing in hillbillyism, whatever, falling in love with movies and all of the sexist shit that's going on, crimes and murder and all of that, social media, whatever. People are just fucking mean, and I'm done with it. I don't want no more chastisement. I don't want any more critiquing. I already know I'm the best. You don't have to say nothing negative towards me. I'm not going to implement any plans that you give me. I don't care who you are, psychiatrist, president, resident, uh, hallucinogen, whatever. I'm not going to follow any fucking thing you say unless it lines up in one accord with what the fuck I believe, period. So I'm saying to you, I'm so glad. I want to thank God openly. If you've never heard me say it before, I want to raise my crooked neck as high as I can get it to the heavens on this Sunday morning, and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, love, and tell God simply that I am thankful that you got these bitch-ass people out of my life or that you gave me the ability to get these bitch-ass people out. I appreciate it. At first, I didn't. I was trying to weasel and keep a, a hold on everybody with motherfuckers that don't even want to be involved. And even friendship, they don't even respect you enough. You don't want to know what people are saying behind your back. You don't want to know. I promise you don't want to know. I promise. You don't want to know. You don't want to know at all what people really, really, really think about you. You don't want to know. You don't want to know. I promise. So, um, I'm thankful. Some people are out of my life and that shit is flush. And for the first time, it feels good. Yeah. Oh, it feels good. Feels good. So, I want to tell y'all, if you have any skills to try and cater to the gifts that God gave you and motivate yourself to to run a successful process with those things. If nobody wants to be on one accord with you in that alignment, fuck them. Seriously. I do love y'all, even though it don't look like it. I'm frustrated with everybody, myself included. So um, this is Motel Granny the Great. I'm out. I love y'all. Much respect.